Hi, we're the Black Veil Brides, and you're watching Artisan News. Because motherfuckers love Artisan <laughs> News. Peas and carrots. Black Veil Brides announced the October 28th release of their brand new self-titled album with a special fan listening event last week. It feels very appropriate for a band that is so heavily reliant on the fan base in terms of uh, public appeal. Like We don't... We're not a band that's ever been darlings of, of the media, and we've not been a band that's been well-reviewed. <laughs> so we're not a sit in a situation where, and we don't really give a shit, obviously, but we've had a chance for the audience to really break down those walls for us. So it seems very fitting and very appropriate that the first people to hear the record are not reviewers and not you know publications, but rather the actual fans who, who listen to the band in the first place. Um, because at the end of the day, no one is going to appreciate your music more than someone who actually appreciates your music. No person who is listening to nine records in a day and are angry that they're not listening to a Radiohead record is ever going to review your record as well as someone who actually gives a about your band. And the people who sat in this room and listened to the album are the people that actually care about their opinions. The first single from the effort is Hard on Fire, and it's set for release to radio on September 10th. <laughs> Black Veil Bride says that this album is their most personal yet. I feel like, um, in terms of tone, this record, certainly for me lyrically, um, is, is a lot more, it hits home more. Um, the idea of doing something that was uh, so in the moment and, and kind of shooting from the hip lyrically and talking about the emotion of, of where I'm at currently or things that we were experiencing as a band or whatever, um, listening back now that we've completed the album, it resonates a lot more in ways that I don't think we've uh, been able to, to do before, or at least... You know, because you listen to a concept album, there's obviously a story there, and I feel very proud of the last record. But in some ways, um, once you're removed from the story, it's hard for it to resonate to you emotionally. Whereas this record, I really do feel like there was a strong connection amongst the the music and the lyrics and everything kind of coming together and coalescing. Right, and I think this record is more genuine and more honest. You know, it it represents like who we are as people right now in this moment. For this record, they work with legendary producer Bob Rock, who produced noted albums Dr. Feelgood by Motley Crue, The Black Album by Metallica, and Sonic Temple by The Cult, among others. So what was that experience like for Andy and the boys? I mean, honestly, getting the opportunity to even meet Bob was exciting for us. You know, I think that uh, all of us grew up loving uh, music that he had been involved in, not only the records he had produced himself, but the work that he had done as an engineer with Bruce Fairburn and, and done records like Loverboy and, and Bon Jovi and all that kind of stuff. So um, just meeting him and having the opportunity to meet a guy that uh, is obviously such a legend but also loves our music, he had heard in the end on the radio and uh, said that he was interested in working with us. So through that, um, we got to have breakfast with him and you know we all sat around and talked about the record that we would make if we were able to make an album together. Now, you know, we exist in a time frame where um, budgets are not what they used to be. You know, we're a rock band. It's kind of an antiquated genre in a lot of ways. So our biggest concern was when do we let him know that we're, he's not gonna get millions of dollars out of this, you know? When do we kind of like tip that card? BVB have also announced the Black Mass Tour, which kicks off October 21st in Niagara Falls, New York. Openers for the track include Falling in Reverse, Set It Off, and Drama Club. Go to blackvalebrides.net for more information and for complete tour dates.